So I'm going to continue reading the next two parts of this book. You saw the first two parts in the prior video. So now I'm going to continue with parts three, which is feeding, and part four, which is comforting and grooming. And then you'll do the book on your own in the separate link <clears throat> so you can interact with the story. So let's go ahead to feeding. So part three, feeding. Let's take a look at all these different baby animals and let's see what they want. So these baby animals want something from their parents. What might these babies need? So I'll show you again how to interact with it. So we'll check our thinking. Baby animals are hungry and they need a lot of food to grow. So let's take a look at these next pages and see what happens. A squirrel eats nuts and other seeds. What do you think the squirrel feeds its babies? So you would find out by clicking on this. Check your thinking. What do you guys think the squirrel feeds its babies besides nuts and seeds? The squirrel feeds its young milk. <clears throat> so, let's continue. Other parents also feed their young milk. Animals that feed their babies milk are mammals. So, you'll move the animals to the chart. You would do that yourself. I'll show you how to do it. You, drag, you can just click on it and drag it and drop it. Okay, and you think of which animal is not a mammal, and you could check your thinking. I'm going to leave that for you guys to explore. Look at this now. Ooh, what do we see over here, guys? Look at that. Eagles have hatched. The eels are hungry. Who is going to feed them? What will they eat? Move the parents to catch the food for their young. So you do the same thing. You drag on the eagle and drop him down. Try to catch the fish. Okay, you guys can try that on your own. <clears throat> Bird's eye view. This is a real look at the real animals catching food for their young. To feed them. Now, how do parents know when their babies are hungry? You will click on the check you're thinking. You can also click on the animal to see. Select the baby animal to hear its sound. I'll play a quick little sample for you. How cool is that, guys? Isn't that fun? Okay. Comforting and grooming. Mother animals comfort their young by nuzzling them. They also lick and groom them. How are they caring for their young? So again, you would click on check your thinking to see how these animals are caring for their young. View how this mother squirrel is grooming her young. There's a cute little video for you guys. You can watch it and click on it. How is grooming helping the young squirrels? And again, you just check on your thinking. See, the pups feel safe when the mother is touching them. Grooming helps young animals stay clean and healthy. See how this mother fox is caring for her kit? What is the fox doing to care for her kit? You can tell by looking at the picture, or you can also just check your thinking. Now, we will do the protecting part in the next video. I want you guys to have fun with this book. Click on all the pictures of it, and you're only going to be doing parts three and parts four. Okay, everybody? Parts 3 and Parts 4, and pages 13 to 21. You'll stop at page 21, and then the next video we'll, we'll do the rest of the book, and you'll read the rest of the pages in the next lesson. Have fun, guys!